right, uh, today we're going to talk about Jeremy Lin's brief time with the Toronto Raptors. Obviously, he came in 2018-2019, uh, won a title last year with them. Um, at the start of the 2018-2019 season, he was signed for the Atlanta Hawks, I believe, on a one-year deal. Played 51 games with them, putting up about 10.7 points uh, per game, playing roughly... 19.7 minutes per game. Now, the thing was, he was a veteran. At that point, he was 30. Now, 30 isn't old by no means. I'm 33. Uh, but he was kind of a journeyman at that point, and Atlanta was not going to make the playoffs, so they bought him out. And then he resigned with the Toronto Raptors finally winning an NBA title. He was... I don't want to say he was past his prime. Um, it was a couple of years after Linsanity, so like he wasn't the same player. He was. Uh, when Lynn Sanity happened. But then again, how can you be? He was a borderline all-star that year, and he kind of became a journeyman. Nothing wrong with being a journeyman. He's probably did more th with basketball than I ever did, or ever will do. Uh, he played in the NBA. He played, what, nine seasons in the NBA? Nine seasons in the NBA. Played a year overseas. Uh, played in the G League with the Harvard. It's probably happy to pick, and you know what. But with the Raptors in the regular season, when they got him... He was bought out to the Atlanta after the deadline. They signed him to a minimum deal. Uh, he was brought in to be depth. He wasn't going to be playing a lot, but he was brought in to be depth in the playoffs. And in that, it, it worked. It worked out well. I mean, they probably showed a bunch of jerseys. They probably did very well in, chi in Toronto's China community. But if you look at the raw stats, he only played 23 games. Started about three. Now, three games is a lot to start, but his only time he started a full season was in Houston. That was at that point six years before that. So... You know, he's probably not a starter, more of a bench player. It was kind of betting to be brought in to be a veteran. Uh, started three games, played about 18 minutes in those three starts, put up putting about seven points. So not not bad stats off the bench. Kind of that bit of a jam guy. Give your other player a rest. You know, give your point guards a rest. Be a depth guy. Come in and win a title. And it's what he did. I mean. No one expected him to light it up like he did the year before last, or even in Linsanity, but he came and he won a title, and that helped quite a bit. Now, he did play some in the playoffs. I think he played eight games in the playoffs. Let me just check here. Looking at basketball reference, I don't have a pen right now, uh, so I just say, uh, you know, figure out that basketball reference. He did play well, I think, in his short time in Toronto, but it is what it is. Uh, for the Raptors, he did play eight games in the playoffs, didn't start a single game. In total, only played about 3.4 minutes uh, a game. Not a lot, but also he wasn't brought in to be a playoff performer. He was brought in if someone was injured. Uh, before that, his last time in the playoffs were, I believe, with Charlotte? Yeah, he played with Charlotte in the playoffs for seven games back in 2015-2016. So he didn't make the playoffs before then. Um... Honestly, I thought he played well. Could he have done more? Yeah. But also, his his best part of his career was probably already past him at that point. Um, right? He was 30. He was brought in to be a veteran. He played well enough there uh, to, get a career, to get a contract over in China. Uh, he's planning on coming back to the NBA. I thought he played well in drama in a limited role. Um, he wasn't really brought in to be a starter, a high-value offensive player. Already that he played well. He won a ring. Now, he has said he doesn't feel like he really deserves that ring, but he was mostly brought in as a veteran, sold some jerseys, probably loved in Toronto, probably going to be loved in Toronto until, like, that country really loved him, saw him at the parade, got to experience that. Um, you know, a lot of players wait their entire career without winning a ring. Even if you're not a big part of a ring, I'm sure a lot of players who've never won a ring would we, we'll be happy as a pig and shit um, to win one. I mean, T-Max never won a ring. Vince Carter's never won a ring. Both former Raptors. So for Jeremy Lin to even come along with the ride and be a veteran pleasant in the locker room and be a good locker room guy and win a ring, sure, you only played eight games in the playoffs and only 23 overall. You started all of three games for the Raptors. You still won a ring. You know, you're always going to be an NBA champion. You can... After your career, you can write books about it and do some really good things. Uh, hats off to Jeremy Lin for winning a title. 
great to see them. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. I try to upload a couple times a week. Um, leave a comment. What's your favorite Jeremy Lin moment in Toronto? And um, hope to see you all again soon. Uh, bye.